everyone welcome back to my channel and if you are new here welcome my name is Evelyn today's video is very exciting because I'm going to finally start decorating for Christmas I feel like Michael Scott in that one scene in the office where they're all like it's happening everyone stay calm what's the procedures and that's how I feel right now because I am just beyond excited to start decorating for Christmas you have no idea but in today's video I am going to be sharing four different ways you can style your console table for Christmas now I personally struggle with styling my console table so I thought it would be perfect to step out of my comfort zone and bring you guys four different looks for Christmas now you don't have to use any of the things I purchased. You can go ahead and swap out whatever I used with things that you have around your house. Swap out a candle I used for something you already have. Everything I used, I did purchase this year, so you should be able to go and purchase any of the things that I used. I do wanna say that my style is very rustic and very neutral, so if you're not into that, swap out things that you already have that are more festive and more colorful. You can use the same layout, but just use things that you already have, if that makes sense. But without further ado, let's get started with some decorating okay so for this first look I added a lamp to the left side and on the right side I added this face that is from Target with these cedar stems these are the smaller size so I think they're 25 or 26 inches and I used two so these are also from Target from the hearth and hand line Right next to the vase, I added these two coffee table books, and right on top of that, I added a candle that I've had for years. I don't think Target sells it anymore, but you can use any candle that you already have. And next to that, I added some pine cones that I got from Lowe's. Very random, but those are from Lowe's. And to top it all off, I added this candle holder that I got from Target a few months ago and this Pottery Barn reindeer that I purchased this year and that completes the first look. I love the minimal and neutral look of it and just that very soft touch of Christmas. Moving on to the next look, I added this Christmas tree that I got from Target. It is from the Studio McGee line, but I'm not a fan of the vase that it came with. So I took it out and I kind of trimmed the styrofoam that it came in and I put it in this beautiful vase that I got from the McGee & Co. website. It definitely elevated the look and it just looks more designer and a lot more textured to it. So I just made sure that it was standing straight because it kept falling to the side. But once I did that, I added these two coffee table books. And on top of that, I added these Amazon bells that I purchased this year and I love the rusticness to them and just how vintage and old they look. It just gives it so much character. So I added those and right next to that, I added these candlestick holders that I also got from Amazon this year. And since I had two different gold tones right next to each other, I decided to break up that gold tone with this brown ribbon that I also purchased from Amazon and I just love how it adds a different texture and a lot more visual interest to these candlestick holders. Lastly, I added this wood and very rustic reindeer that I got from Amazon with some pine cones right next to it. I also decided to add some tapered candles to the candlestick holders and that completed the look. I love how this one turned out. It gave me a lot more Christmas vibes than the last one. And you can also go ahead and add some fairy lights to the Christmas tree. That would look very cute, but I love how rustic and just a lot of different textures this one has. This next look is very, very, very minimal. It adds just a very soft touch of Christmas. So I added this vase that I got from Home Goods a few months ago and I added these cedar stems. These are the 45 inch ones from Target. So I added two of those and instead of laying my coffee table books flat, I kind of stood them straight and leaned them kind of like how I did in my kitchen for fall. 
So I added two books and right next to that I added the wood pedestal that I got from Amazon that I showed in my haul. And on top of that I added two little bells. On the right side I added this lamp and next to that I added this candle holder that I got from Target with a Christmas candle that is from the Hearth and Hand light and I just love the green glass to this candle. It's so beautiful and I also added a candle snuffer. Now the candle is just for decor purposes. Do not light it up because it is right under a lampshade but if you do want to just move it off to the side and you can go ahead and light it up. But like I said, this one is very minimal and so pretty and I think it just adds a nice touch of Christmas. For this final look, I added things that I used in the previous looks but styled a different way. So I added that same lamp and instead of using stems, I added a garland and that's perfect if you don't have a mantle or a stairway. So I fluffed that up, I added two coffee table books and on top of that I added the Pottery Barn Reindeer with the Hearth and Hand candle. And next to that I added those same Amazon candlestick holders. And for some extra texture, I put these pine cones right next to the lamp. And last but not least, I decided to hang these bells in the little drawer that I have right there on the console table. And I think it added a nice Christmas touch. That concludes today's video. I really hope you guys got some inspiration on how you can style your console table for Christmas. Also, let me know down below in the comments which one was your favorite. I don't even know which one is my favorite. I love them all and I'm not sure if I'm going to keep any of those or try to come up with another style for my next video. So stay tuned for that. If you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button. I would really appreciate it. And also thank you to all of you who are always commenting and liking my videos. I notice you and I just want to say that I appreciate you. Thank you guys so much for watching and until next time. Bye.